I'm gonna play a new song that I just wrote like two, two weeks ago because the, this lady over here encouraged me to do this and like I don't play my, small, my originals in the street but like I, I'm gonna try it for you. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Good morning from New Orleans. Look who's here, it's Emily. Hey. If you guys don't know Emily, let me reintroduce her or introduce her for the new subscribers. Uh, Emily is a photojournalist, all around great human being and works for things like Vice and um, NPR and things like that. Yeah, hi. And <laughs> and we met, she was living and traveling in a van, and now she's uh, settled in, uh, in bricks and sticks here in uh, New Orleans. Yeah. <laughs> First off, um, it is a little bit afternoon. I'm going to stop into a place uh, Anthony Bourdain went to, and this is uh, apparently the place to go if you want a really tasty po' boy. Even if things don't always start out as bad. The magical time has come. This is my oyster, large oyster po, po boy. And what did you get? I got the scramps. The oh, scramps? Scramps. Shrimps. <laughs> All right, bite into it and tell me how it is. All right. And Emily did not get hot sauce for some reason. I'm <laughs> weak. All right, here. Good, right? It is good. It's not something I have every single day. Fried oysters with bread and hot sauce. So, <laughs> so my mouth is kind of adjusting to all the new umami sorts of flavors, but it's really tasty. I completely forgot to introduce myself. My name is Jackson. Your name is Jackson Joanne. Joanne. Okay. Very nice to meet you. And what what should someone order if they come here for the first time? First, our biggest seller by far is fried shrimp. Mm -hmm. By far. Yeah. Uh, another very popular, but not the biggest, is the uh, half fried shrimp, and the other half is fried oyster. That's what I should have got. Yeah, I did the oysters, which was amazing. But yeah. I yeah. Yeah. Oysters. yeah. It's not, yeah. <laughs> Everything. Everything's right. If you could tell us uh, what you said earlier about who's like where, where this thing all came from. This place started about a hundred years ago. It was my husband's grandfather who started it as a bar. The same bar that you're sitting at today, the front bar and the back bar. We actually had a gentleman come in one day and sit down and he said, you know, this bar is over 100 years old. And I said, that's what I understand. He said, no, I'm telling you, it's over 100 years old. I'm a furniture appraiser. And I can look at the bar and the details and tell you that it was made over 100 years ago. It was cool. That's amazing. It really was. And, and how long uh, has uh, the place been served? And po boys. Uh, now, po boys, I don't honestly know. It started just as a bar. It was started by Peter Domelis, my husband's grandfather. His mother, Sophie, couple sometime after that, I don't think it was long, started serving plate lunches to workers on the river. The river's right here, Mississippi mm -hmm. River, and started serving plate lunches for the workers there. Then eventually, some friends of theirs started making po' boys right there at that counter. What exactly is a po' boy? What, like, what is in it that, that is a po' boy and, and not any other kind of sandwich? To me, a po' boy, the main thing is the bread. With the wrong bread, it's not a hoagie, it's not a bun. The hoagie is bready, it's got a mushy mm -hmm. outside. Uh, Doughy. 
nice yeah. berry. Uh, Spongy. Uh, yeah. Oh boy, the bread is has a very thin crust on the outside. It's very crispy crust. Almost on the like outside. a quality baguette, like a French baguette. I'm guessing. It's even thinner than that, really. And then the inside is very light and airy. It's not a doughy bread at all. And that makes it without the right bread. You could put anything on the inside and it's never going to be good. But the good stuff on the inside with the good bread makes them awesome. All right, guys, now you know. This is a spot. You know what to order, you know who to ask for and say hi to. Um, Emily, what do you say as a resident of New Orleans? It was pretty good. Yep. Yeah. All right. And so uh, I guess we're going somewhere after this. Um, any teaser on, on what it is? We're going to head to the French Quarter. Right. I'm going to take you to kind of a hidden spot on Royal Street. All right. Sounds good to me. All right. Next up on uh, Emily's Adventure Day. Uh, <laughs> it was, she's so kind to take me around today, by the way. Thank you again. Day off work. Um, so we're going into, I don't know, a thing called Mardi Gras World. I have no idea if anyone else has been here in any YouTube videos before. But essentially, it is old floats and things. What's up, guys? <laughs> so it's like old floats and things. Yeah, it's old Mardi Gras floats and a lot of cultural stuff. Okay. It's pretty wild. Whoa! Goodness gracious! Look at how cool this is. It's wild. Um, and we just walked in. We had to pay outside for parking, but then we just walked in here, and. Um, Okay, so there we go. That's why we got in for free. Tour and gift shop, right there. So they do sell things, and these are just a bunch of old, possibly retired uh, floats. Here's the, the details on the place. It's $22. We're gonna skip it because... I'm <laughs> 44 bucks um, to just like walk through a place. I'm, you know me, I'm not a huge touristy kind of place. It is interesting if you are here and you wanna see it. Um, come on through, check it out. It is really cool. I've been deeper in here for a work assignment. I had to cover a wine night here, and there's a lot of big, beautiful floats back there, and we'll yeah. give you a full tour about it. Yeah. But. And we also have a place that's closing soon, so Definitely. we do want to get over over there. What, what's this? Little monkeys from the <laughs> Oh, cool. Yeah, and definitely a lot of photo ops in here too. But you know, just to show you guys for the sake of a, a video. Uh, to give you guys information, this is about as far as I'm going to get. French Quarter, we're gonna stop by a place that Emily recommended, and what exactly is this place? So, this is an antique store, all but right. most of the stuff in here is like, I think the cheapest thing I've seen is like 35 grand. Oh my god. It's all really valuable, beautiful stuff, um, and it's a good place for tourists to come. Alright, well, let's be tourists then. Holy crap, check out that pool table. Oh my gosh. Whoa, and look at these guys. This is incredible. This is like the ultimate. Wow, there's another pretty one. This is honestly like the ultimate antique store. Oh, yeah. This is huge. It's about the same size as my, as my roof. Is this your favorite piece? This is my favorite piece. Okay, here. check this out, guys. I don't know what it is, but it's like a butterfly, like, storage unit. Storage unit. <laughs> Every Isn't store it? It's full of butterflies. It's incredible. I think those might be moths. Yeah. Wow. And the, the one above it, which one was the, the, the really colorful ones? ones? Yeah. I think it's the skinny drawer. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I That's absolutely wild. incredible.
Fantastic. So I just learned that she's also on YouTube. And uh, here is uh, the information if you guys want to check out more original songs from a traveling musician. <laughs> Thanks so much. Great. Thank you. Hey guys, remember that postcard uh, giveaway I did? Sorry for taking so long. Right now I'm going to drop these off in the French Quarter. Uh, and they will be, one is going to Australia. I sent one out to Taiwan the other day and a bunch of others. So we'll do another one and I'll try not to lag so terrible on that one. Well, here we have the 10th oldest bar in the United States, according to Emily. And Google. Okay, next up on the uh, list of today's things, uh, earmuffs for those who are not into this stuff or think it's sacrilegious. Um, we got the House of Voodoo. They don't like photos, as you can see right there, so I'll just stand on the outside and point the camera towards this guy with a very unhappy face. That's right. No photos inside, please. But from the sidewalk, we're in public land. Yes? Yeah. The sad time has come. We have to say goodbye. Um, Emily has invited me out tonight, but I haven't really been a night owl and not really a big drinker, so I, I'm not committing to that. Lightweight. <laughs> well deserved. But thank you so much for taking me around. I really appreciate Thanks it. For coming to visit. Yes. So good to see you. Likewise. All right, well, I think that does it about for today's uh, activities. I'm parked on a street called uh, North Peters and uh, Spain. It's right next to a train depot, so it does get a little bit on the noisy side, but as you can see, there's a RV and a uh, familiar school bus from Schooly Palooza down the way. Just bumped into them today. As well as uh, some truck campers and some other places. Here's a very green, <laughs> grassy square and uh, it's kind of industrial area seems to be a spot for uh, boondocking so if you're uh, you know coming through town this is the spot let's zoom in on this uh, train real quick I'm always fascinated with trains I think it'd be fun to ride one one day either you know up front or uh, in the back like Rob Lavender used to do <laughs> Yes.